Hello everyone, I'm Adam. In this problem, we're going to be using vectors to show that our points, given by the coordinates 0, negative 2, negative 5, 3, 4, 4, and 2, 2, 1 are collinear. So first let's just remember, what does it mean for points to be collinear? Well, as the name kind of implies, it means that all the points lie in the same line. So to develop this, and pictures are worth a thousand words, let's take a look at a graph. So let's consider three points that are collinear. Call one point P, next point Q, and say another point, we'll say call it R. So considering them to be collinear, right, they all lie in the same line, Now, how can vectors help us? Well, with vectors, consider the vectors between the points. So we can have a vector, if we treat P as our initial point or starting point, we can have the vector between P and Q given by that directed line segment. And we can also have the vector between P and R. So from P, think of extending, we have the vector from P to R. Now, what's the relationship here? So we see that we have the points are collinear, but what's the relationship between the vectors? Well, the vectors are sort of lying in the same line, or in vector terms, they're parallel to each other. So what we know is that the points are collinear if the vectors are parallel. So our points are collinear if namely the vectors created between say points P and Q is parallel with the vector created with say point P and R. So that gives us kind of a game plan. We're going to take our vectors that we have here and we'll just generally Call our first point, say point P. Call our second point, say point Q. And we'll call our last point, say point R. So we want to simply answer the question. Answer the question. Well, are the vectors, say between P and Q, and the vector P, R, are these parallel? If they are parallel, that tells us the points are collinear. So, we've done things like this before. Given two vectors, finding whether they're parallel. First, we have to find the vectors. So, our vectors, let's start with P, Q. So, we're going to find this vector, and we're going to find this in component form. So finding a vector in component form, again, is taking the two points where we're treating P as the initial point, Q as, say, our terminal point, and then subtracting component-wise, where it's the terminal point minus the initial point. So we're going to have, say, 3 minus 0 as our first component, 4 minus negative 2 as our second component, and 4 minus negative 5 as our third component. So that's going to give us this vector in component form. 3 minus 0 is 3. 4 plus 2 is 6. And 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay, So that's our vector, PQ. And we'll find, similarly, our vector, PR, in component form. So subtracting, we're going to have first component 2 minus 0. 2 minus negative 2, and lastly, 1 minus negative 5, which will give us components 2 minus 0 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 1 plus 5 gives us 6. 
OK, so here's our two vectors. And again, what we want to do is see if these things are parallel. So what does it mean for two vectors to be parallel? Well, it means for vectors to be parallel if one vector can be written as a scalar multiple of the other. So what we want to do is answer the question basically taking, say, one vector, say our PQ, which has components 3, 6, and 9. And can this be written as a scalar multiple? We'll take some scalar C times the other vector, PR, with components 2, 4, and 6. So we've done things like this before, and there's a little bit of a game that you can play. So what we want to do is, can we find some scalar such that if I multiply it by each of these components, I get back the components over here? So if you're one of those people who can just look at things and see patterns very easily, you can probably find the value C, but there's a more formulaic way of doing it, and that's how we're going to do it here. So the formulaic way of doing it is we're going to set up each individual equation with the components, meaning that the component 3 has to be equal to C times the component 2 over here. The component 6 has to be equal to C times the component 4. Let's put some multiplications. And lastly, the component 9 has to be equal to C times the component 6. Okay. And we just solve each equation. So the first one, if we divide both sides by 2, we get that C is equal to 3 halves. And so what we want to see is we get the same value of C for these other two equations. Well, if we divide through both sides by 4 in the second part, we get 6 over 4, which equals C, which of course, canceling, we indeed get 3 over 2, or 3 halves. And lastly, dividing the last equation through by 6, we get 9 over 6 equal to our value C. And of course, we can cancel 3 in the top and bottom. And again, we get 3 halves. So we have the same value of C for each one. And that essentially answers our question. That says that these vectors are parallel So let's write this down. So the vector PQ and PR are parallel. So that implies that our points P, Q, and R are collinear. So using vectors, we've been able to show that our original points P, Q, and R are collinear. Thank you very much.